everyone. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, we decided to make some home workout videos for you guys uh, in order to um, keep you healthy and fit, pass the time and fight the boredom whilst we're in this lockdown. Um, we'll be doing some sort of uh, circuit training stuff, some whole uh, body workout. Um, we'll be doing also um, some full work sessions that you can follow along to. Um, we're bearing in mind that obviously uh, everyone has different spaces. Um, so we're going to try and make sure that it's uh, minimal um, equipment needed and that it can do in little space. Um, I live in a one bedroom apartment, so I think if I can do it, most of you will be able to. Um, today's session is a superset session. So um, that basically means that we'll be targeting certain muscle groups. So in this one, we'll be targeting five muscle groups. And then for each muscle group, we'll be doing three exercises with no rest in between. Um, so yeah, let me show you the uh, workout on the next slide and I'll talk more about it. Okay, so here we have today's workout. As you can see, we'll be doing uh, exercises for five main muscle groups um, and we'll be performing the superset. So um, what that means is that for each muscle group, we're gonna be doing three exercises. I recommend doing the exercises for one minute. So um, you would do um, for the first one, for example, you do one minute of Bulgarian split squats and then straight on without no rest, go into one and a half um, full squats for another minute. And then without any rest again, you go straight into squat jumps for another minute. Um, the aim of this is just to kind of maximize uh, progressive overload uh, and provide a larger stimulus for adaptation. Um, I recommend doing these exercises for a minute. However, if you find it um, too hard, what you can do is you can do each exercise for 30 um, seconds instead. Um, or alternatively, if you find it too easy, you can either extend the time um, for one minute, 30 seconds, for example, or what I would suggest is just complete the circuit with one minute um, and then do another round of it all. Uh, and you can do this two to three times. Um, it's up to you, depending on how fatigued you're feeling, um, etc. cetera. Um, uh, what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be breaking down each exercise, um, uh, giving you sort of a, a short demonstration um, any tips in terms of technique, um, if there's anything that I suggest if you're finding it hard to make it easier for you and vice versa. Um, one thing that I haven't really covered um, in this video is a warm up. And the main reason for that is I don't know what you guys have at home. So I do recommend that you'll warm yourselves up before you get started. Um, if you have a skipping rope, that's a great way to maybe five minutes or so of skipping. If you don't have that um, and you have access to stairs, just run up and down the stairs a little bit to get yourselves warmed up. Um, and then after you've warmed yourself up and you found a way to do so, uh, just do some sort of like light mobility work, just some um, easy stretching. Don't overstretch because you're gonna be doing um, some strength and conditioning exercises. So we don't want um, any overstretching as it can result in injury. But yeah, just make sure you guys are ready to exercise. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's kick off um, the first exercise. So the first exercise is um, the Bulgarian split squat. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my uh, back leg elevated once I'm in that lunge position. Uh, when I'm going down, uh, my knee at the front is reaching 90 degrees. Um, try and make sure that your knee isn't going over your toes or um, if not, or not going low enough. Uh, so make sure you adjust yourself so that you get that 90 degree. Um, and then you're just gonna go up and down. You're gonna do um, both legs. So you're gonna do one leg for 30 seconds. And then when you hit that 30 second mark, you switch and you do the other leg. Um, if you're finding this one um, challenging, the other, what you can do is um, just don't raise that back leg. Just do it with both um, feet on the floor and just go up and down from there. Okay, so the next exercise is the one and a half full squat. So to start off with, get your feet um, shoulder width apart. And then when you squat down, make sure you're squatting down by bending at the hips first, followed by the knees, um, almost like if you're about to sit on a chair and not bending at the knees um, first. It's really important to avoid um, any knee injuries. Um, then make sure you're going down as low as you can uh, comfortably, okay? Don't overdo it. Um, so what we're gonna do for this specific exercise is that when we get to um, the bottom of our full squat, we're gonna go up to a half squat and then go back down to the bottom and then go up to a full um, to a full stance before then dropping down to a full squat, then back to a half squat, 
back down to a full squat and then standing up again. And we're gonna repeat this um, for a minute. So squat jumps. Um, this one we're gonna start off the same way as we just did for the last exercise. So feet shoulder width apart and we're gonna squat down to the bottom. But as soon as we get to that bottom, we need to explode and jump upwards. Uh, use your arms um, to propel yourself. And then um, as soon as your feet land, go straight down to that squat position again and then push off and repeat. Um, it's relatively um, self-explanatory um, and yeah. So the next one is the press up. Um, I'm sure most of you all know how to do it, so I won't go into too much detail. Um, the only things I'll say is that make sure that your core's engaged the whole way through so that your body remains level throughout and they're going all the way to the bottom, so chest to the floor and then uh, when you're coming back up that you're um, getting full extension on your arms. Okay, so full reps. Um, if you're finding it a little too difficult, especially to do for a whole minute, uh, what you can do is um, just, instead of being on your feet, go onto your knees. Um, it'll lessen the body weight load onto your, um, onto your pecs and onto your triceps um, and see how that goes really. Okay, so, um, the shoulder press. Uh, with this one, I had to be a bit inventive because uh, I don't have any weights really at home to do it. Um, so I'm sure most of you will have a fencing bag. Um, so what I recommend doing is just loading up your fencing bag with um, either your full kit, add more weight, add less, depending on what you can uh, lift over your head. And what you're gonna do is just with your, uh, in a comfortable position, um, you're just gonna uh, pick it up uh, with your arms almost about shoulder width apart, yeah? And you're gonna go from, um, Basically with your hands up on a level with your shoulders and you're just gonna press up and then down and uh, repeat. Uh, obviously make sure that you have a good grip of it. Um, you don't wanna drop the um, weight on your head. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna go for full range of motion. So you're gonna go all the way back up. So arms fully extended and then all the way back down so that your hands are at shoulder level and then press again. Um, yeah, if you don't have a fencing bag, look for anything else you might have at home. So any large water bottles that you could use. Um, or just, if you have weights, use the weights. Um, this one you have to be a little bit creative with. All right, last one for this upper push um, set, um, which is a tricep dip. So if you have a bench or the edge of a sofa, um, just use that. Or even uh, if you have some steps, you can use that to um, elevate yourself in order to do the dips. So um, fairly straightforward. You're just gonna uh, perch yourself off that um, bench or surface that you have and you're just gonna lower down till your um, elbows get to 90 degrees and then you're gonna push yourself up. Uh, one tip that I would suggest is that um, to have your hands, rather than facing your fingers facing forward on that surface, rotate them a bit outwards just to put less stress on that anterior shoulder capsule. Um, it, you might find it more comfortable. Um, and if you also find this exercise really easy and that you're not really stressing your triceps enough, um, what you can do is then elevate your feet as well um, and that will increase um, the weight that you're uh, using. Okay, so um, this one is basically a way of us targeting our hamstrings um, and as the name suggests, we need a slick floor. So maybe do this in the kitchen if you have a tiled surface, a wooden floor, um, just something that will let you glide. So as you can see in the video, I'm using a towel I've got my feet on it um, and what I'm doing is that um, I'm lifting my bum off the ground into sort of a bridge and then I'm extending my legs all the way down um, keeping my uh, sort of my lower back and um, glutes elevated and then when I get to that full extension I'm then contracting my hamstrings um, and sliding back up um, and then just repeat this. So um, alternative uh, heel touch squats. Um, so what we're gonna be doing with this one is we're gonna be alternating between each leg and the aim is uh, to touch your uh, heels um, by squatting down on one leg. Uh, for this one, because we're targeting the posterior chain of our legs, uh, make sure that you're leaning forward to engage that a bit more. Um, and so you should feel like sort of your glutes, hamstrings, you will also feel on your quads, um, sort of like a deadlift movement. And um, yeah, if you're finding this one a bit challenging, especially in terms of the balance, uh, what you can do is rather than um, lifting uh, one leg off, uh, just put it slightly behind you just to give you that a little bit extra balance as you're going um, down. 
Uh, so single leg uh, glute bridges now. Um, with this one, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to have our knees um, bent with our heels um, close to our bum. And what we're going to be doing is that we're just going to be uh, raising um, our pelvis off the floor. And in order to make this one a little bit more challenging, um, I did a single leg. So you're going to have one leg straight, as you can see in the video. Um, so that way we're just targeting one um, glute at a time. And we're just going to lift. Um, stuff to note when you're doing this, try and keep your pelvis so that your hips are in line the whole time and that you're not collapsing to one side. Um, and yeah, if you find this one slightly too challenging, then don't lift your leg up. Um, so have both feet uh, firmly planted on the floor and then you're just going to um, lift your hips up as you go. Or alternatively, if you're finding this one uh, quite easy, uh, what you can do is then use a uh, bench. So if you put your feet up on that bench and then again, just do the same exercise. So you're lifting um, your hips off the floor and up, except this time your feet will just be elevated. So for this exercise, um, I had to be a bit inventive. Um, I don't really have a pull-up bar or anything at home that I could use. Um, so what I did um, in order to do pull-ups is I got two chairs, as you can see in the video, and then a broomstick. And I use that as my bar. Um, and then nice and simply, you're just going to have um, palms facing away with you on the bar, clasp around, and you're just going to pull yourself up. Um, if you're finding this one um, too easy, what you can do is have your feet elevated on the edge of a, another chair or a bench or a sofa, and that will increase um, the load. Okay, so for this one, it's a little bit strange. Um, again, you're gonna need a slick surface and a towel um, or something that will let you uh, slide. Um, so uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in a kneeling position and uh, this is basically simulating like um, a lap pull down. So what you're gonna do is um, knees um, on that towel and you're gonna have your palms on the ground. And what you're gonna really do is from here, you're gonna just push, so you're gonna really contract your lats and try and pull your body in towards you. And then obviously push away and then pull again. Um, again, if you, this can be replaced if you have, um, a pull-up bar, um, but I assume most of you won't have that at home. I, mean, I don't. So, um, yeah, this is a great one to really target those lats. So, um, for this inclined chin-ups, it's going to be a similar, uh, setup to, um, the seated, uh, pull-up except this time rather than having our hands facing, uh, sorry, our palms facing away from us, we're gonna have our palms uh, facing us. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna um, put a bigger stress onto our biceps when we're doing this. Um, and again, if you're finding this one quite easy, what you can do is have your feet elevated. So um, again, on a bench, uh, on the edge of a sofa, another chair, and that'll just increase the weight um, and strain that you're putting on your biceps and also your back. Okay, so for the reverse uh, corkscrew crunch, um, what we're gonna be doing in this one is lying on our backs, um, hands uh, to our sides, with um, our legs up and our knees bent. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage um, our lower abs to lift our bum off um, the ground. And as we're lifting, we're gonna twist our hips slightly. So we're gonna um, be engaging our obliques and adding that rotation to the exercise. Um, and then you're gonna repeat, make sure that when you're doing this, um, don't rush it. So you wanna be um, always quick and a bit explosive when you're coming up, but then on the way down, make sure you're controlled. So don't just slap down onto the floor again before you do the next uh, rep. So you're gonna lift up, twist slightly, and then back down slowly. Okay, um, Black Widow Knee Slides. Um, for this one, we're gonna start off um, in a plank position with our arms extended. Um, and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring our, our knee to our chest, so one at a time. And then once our knee gets to our chest and can't go any further, we're then gonna engage our abs. And basically what will result is that our bum will then go higher up. So you're basically gonna go knee um, up to your chest. And then when you get to there, you're gonna then fully extend and contract your abs uh, before lowering your knee and then doing the alternative one. Um, all right, the last abdominal exercise, um, just the basic standard crunch. Um, so when you're here, what you're gonna do is that um, 
you're going to go on your back, knees up, you're going to elevate your, um, you're going to contract your abs already a bit, your lower abs, so that your um, hips are slightly off the ground. Uh, and then you're going to um, hands to your ears or to your side, whatever you prefer, and you're just going to crunch, okay? And make sure that when you're doing this, really controlled. So again, you're uh, contracting um, forcibly on the way up, and then you're controlling your descent. Um, and make sure when you're doing this, you know, you're, you're letting your abs do the work, you're not forcing your neck and you're not using your hands to force your neck to there. You know, let those upper abs really engage and uh, lift you up. Okay, so the last exercise of uh, this workout, it's fencing specific. So what you're going to do is you're going to go onto on guard, you're going to tap the floor as fast as you can. Um, Time-wise, just count to five in your head. As soon as you hit five, you're gonna drop down to the floor into press-up position, and you're gonna basically do a burpee, pop-up, and then you're gonna go from that, that pop, you're gonna use that explosion to then lunge, then go back on guard, and then go again, tapping as fast as you can, count, count to five uh, in your head, drop down to the floor, press-up, burpee up, lunge, and then continue and repeat. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. With this one, make sure that you stretch your lunge before you go into it, um, not to injure yourself. Um, but yeah, that was my way of making this slightly fencing related. Alrighty, um, that's the workout. Um, I hope that you guys like it uh, and are interested in doing it. Um, what I recommend you doing is before you start the actual uh, workout itself, just um, have a go th at each of the exercises. Make sure that you're comfortable with the technique. It doesn't cause you any discomfort. Um, that you have everything around that you need. So if you need a bench, something to slide on, um, the bar, for example, to do your uh, um, seated pull-ups, that everything's around you so that everything runs smoothly. And then, yeah, warm yourselves up and crack on. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I, what I might do is I have a video to accompany this one, which will just basically be a timer with the exercise name and uh, the clip of me doing it so you can follow along. And I'll do that with one minute per exercise. Um, so obviously, if you're going to make it slightly easier for yourself or hard and have a different time that you're going to be exercising for, the video might not be suitable for you, but at least you'll have it as a reference. Um, and yeah, stay safe. Uh, and we'll probably be back shortly with more videos. Hope you enjoy. Take care.